In a previous video, I've shown you how you can read accelerometer values from the Excel Click by Tatsis, Bus IO Devices, IO Device Zero in Excel Raw, for example, and you can get your values that way. But how do you get this out in Node-RED? All we need to do is go to our browser. So here we're just going to the IP address of the Beagle Play. We see we have Node-RED and Node-RED UI here. So we can open Node-RED and we see we can create our flows. Let's create a new flow and let's see how we can get data in. We actually want to use a function called exec here. Exec is going to let us take a Linux command and run it. We're going to go to our command here. We're going to copy it. We're going to go back into here. And this is the command we're going to exec. We're going to actually give it a nice name, get Excel X. Now we're going to want to see this print out somewhere. So we're going to go to debug. We can see the output here is going to be standard out. We're going to take standard out and take it to our debug console. We actually also want something to run this exec command. So we're going to simply go to the inject, drag this in, connect it. We click deploy, we click the timestamp here. We'll see that we actually get our accelerometer value and we can kind of move it around and we see that changes. How do we do it repeatedly? We're gonna double click timestamp and at the bottom here, we're going to say repeat at an interval, going to say repeat every 0.1 seconds. And then when we hit deploy now, we'll see that we're actually updating quite a lot faster. That's all good and cool, but how do we get this out to a UI now? So we're gonna scroll down all the way at the bottom here and we see we have an option for a gauge and a chart. So let's get a gauge and we're simply gonna grab our standard out take it to a gauge and then we want to give it some kind of defaults right so let's give it 200 as the max and then negative 200 as the minimum our label is going to be Excel X we can do a couple of different types of gauges here we're just gonna leave it a gauge size is auto we're gonna hit deploy again just a good measure go back to our Beagle play and we can click node red UI now we can see our acceleration test and when we move it we can see we're actually getting data that way. Now let's expand a little bit. We're just getting one value and putting it on a gauge, but what if we wanna get multiple values, so X, Y, Z, and then also display them on a graph? This just gets a little more complicated. As you can see, this is basically a copy paste with just us getting accelerator X, Y, and Z. And the only difference here is that we're changing the command so that it says Y raw and Z raw. And then there's one more thing we need to do. We need to set the message topic to be X, Y, and Z so that our graph knows that these three messages are actually different, they're not just the same values. We have this node here, which is the change node. We're setting message topic to, in this case, Axel X valve, for example. And then in this case, Axel Y valve. But we're just adding a message topic to all of these. And then we're routing it out the same way as before. The output values of these just go straight into X, Y, and Z separately. And then all three of them go into the accelerometer. When we deploy this, what we can actually see happen is we can go to our flow. And here we see we have three values and our graph is actually updated it for all three. And that's how you get an accelerometer or basically any other UI element into Node-RED.